Hello and welcome to Fish Bones Interpreting Lab Values. Now, I don't know about you guys, but have you ever seen in a patient's chart where a physician has put in these things called fish bones? And this is what it looks like here. This is a shorthand for being able to write out electrolytes and to write out some of our lab values. Uh, and maybe we don't see them so much in our electronic charts anymore, but sometimes you'll still see this stuff written down, maybe handwritten in a handwritten chart, or maybe you'll see it written on some notes, etc. It's also a great shorthand for you to use when you're taking notes on your patients and you're trying to get down your patient's lab values so that you can report them uh, to the next shift, etc. So uh, this is called fish bones here, and there is a specific way that these things are set up, and that's what we're seeing here. These are the electrolytes. We have the sodium and then the potassium chloride, CO2, BUN, creatinine, and then finally our glucose over there. So let's see if we can guess these. Now you've got a minute here to take a look at where they are and to kind of memorize them. So let's see how well you remembered what you saw there in the diagram. So first of all, let's start out with the upper left-hand corner over there. And what did we have in that upper left-hand corner? We had sodium. Sodium was our first one in the upper left-hand corner. All right, what was underneath sodium then? Underneath sodium was potassium. Okay, let's shift over to next to sodium. And next to sodium, we had chloride, right? We had chloride over there. All right, so it kind of goes together with sodium. Sodium and chloride together on that top row. All right, what's underneath chloride? We have our CO2. Now, moving over to the next column. Next to chloride, we had... Yes, our BUN. And under our BUN, we had our creatinine. See how the BUN and creatinine go together. So they're kind of organized a little bit by the ones that fit together. All right, what do we have on the very tail then of our fish bones? That was where we put our glucose level. All right, so this is the electrolytes in a fishbone. Now let's take a look at our hematologic studies in a fishbone. So here we have our white blood cell count on the left side. We have our platelet count on the right side. Top, hemoglobin. Bottom is hematocrit. So again, this is a shorthand. Quick and easy way to write them. You just put them into the fishbone rather than having to write out white blood cell, you know, H, hematocrit, etc. You know. So let's guess them. What is over on that left-hand side of our fishbone here? That's our white blood cell count. Great. All right. How about on top? On top we have the hemoglobin. On the bottom we have the hematocrit. And then over on the right-hand side, what was over there? It was the platelet count. All right. We got one more for you, and that's coagulation studies. Coagulation studies, we have our PT, PTT, INR on our coagulation studies here. This is just shaped in a little Y. Take a look at the diagram for a moment, and let's move over, and let's see if we can guess it. What's up on top? The INR. What's on the left side? Our PT, and our right side is our PTT. These are fish bones that may help you in being able to, as a shorthand, being able to write down your lab values really quickly so that you remember what they were without having to write out which each one of these values are next to them. Just put them into the quick little fish bone area. And it's a common shorthand, so people will remember it. Other people can take a look at it, and they know what those lab values represent. Thank you for joining me for Fishbones Interpreting Lab Values. My name is David Woodruff. Until next time, bye now.